Single mum Amy Rabinsky has been couch surfing and living out of shopping bags for the past 18 months. She's desperate to find an affordable rental in Logan for her four-week-old baby and seven-year-old daughter. It's really upsetting and depressing. You know, you sh no one should have to live like that. The 27-year-old has applied for more than 200 rentals but keeps getting knocked back. It makes me feel like it's no longer a lucky country, it's becoming more of a greedy country with the way things are, just with housing. Disability pensioner Michael Powell says he and his wife were lucky to find a rental in Ipswich. It took 156 applications and 60 inspections over five months. Oh, very stressful. I mean, uh, you know, the anxiety went through the roof and the depression went through the roof. While the couple is grateful, moving from four bedrooms to one means the garage has become extra living space. The housing pressures in Queensland are the result of compounding factors like unprecedented interstate migration, limited land availability, record low rental vacancies, rising house prices, building supply issues and multiple weather events. Experts say the state government needs to build more social housing and financially encourage developers to change density design. We've sort of cornered ourselves in South East Queensland into a couple of reliable design treatments, whereas we could get much more density and elegance if we use better design. I think social housing has been underinvested in and we need to spend more money in that space. A state summit will tomorrow canvas housing solutions with all levels of government and stakeholders. 4,000 uh, social homes that have been completed since the Palaszczuk government came to office. But of course there is more to do. For Queenslanders like Amy, help can't come soon enough. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Brisbane.